Hey guys, what's going on? It's ProteinFactory.com and I'm Rebecca Lee with another video for you to follow along with at home. Today we're going to do two different variations of a push-up. Um, you guys know that I love these variations of different ways to do things and um, push-ups are definitely something that you can do a lot of different ways. So um, basically all you're going to need is a wall for this and then for the second one a step, whether it be um, a staircase in your house or a step um, you know, a step stool or something like that. Um, that's all you're really going to need for these two workouts. So with the first one, um, because of camera reasons and the way my home is built out, um, this is going to kind of be in the way, so please excuse that. Um, preferably you should just have one big open wall to work on for this. So all you're going to do basically is just have your hands flat out like this in a push-up position. You can imagine yourself on the floor, but you're actually going to be standing up. So everything's exactly the same. Your back is active. Your feet are nice and strong. And you're just going to go down and back up. So just like a push-up on the ground, but you're doing this standing up. So what I would do is about, um, I would go higher in reps for these. So I would do about um, two sets of 20. And then another thing that you can do that's kind of nice that you can't do um, on the floor for a push-up is one hand. So you can go in like this and back out. And this is really good for people that haven't been working out on a regular basis or somebody with an injury because you can um, really modify it to your own um, where you are in your own workout um, level. So if you need to go in, you can go in and that just lets you, um, you know, really vary the amount of um, work that you need to put in for this. So, you know, it's it's a great exercise. You can go out like that and then flip to the other side. So that's one exercise you can do. You can also go to the corner of a wall like this where you are basically, it's like you're almost hugging the corner and you can go in. I hope you guys can see me. I didn't check this angle on my camera. but um. You go in and back out, and it's almost like you're squeezing like a medicine ball, but it's the corner. So this is really going to incorporate your biceps and your shoulders as well. And make sure you're keeping your core and your abs nice and tight and strong. They should always be active in every exercise that you do. one exercise that you can do for a push-up that's a little bit different than your standard push-up and then the next one you're going to get down on the ground. Alright guys, so here's the second part of the exercise for the alternate push-ups that we're going to be doing today. Like I said, you just need a step or a really, really low um, step stool. Just something this far off, off the um, ground, like five, six inches. I don't know, is that about right? So just a little bit off the ground. Um, I got this from doing the same exercise at the gym with the um, Smith machine. I'll just take an empty rack down, put it all the way down to the lowest level, and do a push up that way. And it really, really, really increases the difficulty of an average push up. So, just having something up just a little bit off the ground is really, really going to impact the way that um, your push up feels. So, same thing as a normal push up, you're just going to be up a few inches off the ground, but you're definitely going to feel a dramatic. Um, increase in difficulty. So take it easy. So this is how you do it. You're just going to do an average normal push-up, but up on the ground like this, and you're just going to go down and up. And it is tough. So definitely give this a try and be patient with it. My <laughs> arms are already shaking. I haven't done these in a while. But you can see that it's definitely a difficult exercise, so give it a shot. Give the wall ones a shot when you're standing up on the wall and do those push-ups like that. And I promise you can definitely feel an increase in difficulty in both of them. So an increase in difficulty means an increase in progress and happiness in the way your um, workout is going and your exercise routine is um, progressing. So keep doing them, keep trying them. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's tons of videos on here. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything that you want me to um, focus on, please do. I really um, like having the input from you guys and um, all that good stuff. And excuse the Christmas decorations, but <laughs> it's Christmas time. So I hope everybody's having a good week, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.